Um, look, yeah. vaccine passports um, are coming in in various places. Don't think they'll come into England, but I don't care one way or the other because if they were compulsory, and actually it might, if I was in charge, I might make them compulsory just to annoy a few people, yeah. um, but they're not going to be. So let's talk about that. Young Voices UK, uh, their political commentator, who is Connor Tomlinson, um, we thought we'd talk to him about that. It just shows us as being a bit younger, doesn't it, really? Because we've got a very young audience. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Connor, good evening to you. Good evening, gentlemen. For uh, the record, James, I rather like the show. Oh, thanks, Connor. You, yeah, that's very... What a deep voice he has. Oh, he doesn't that, sound uh, very young. He sounds no, no. Young. I bet you said that to all the girls. Um, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well... Oh, you probably want to talk to <laughs> Ash more than me. Ash the bear. Um, anyway, uh, Connor, tell me, uh, Young Voices UK, uh, your take. Actually, just explain to me what Young Voices UK are. Oh, so Young Voices is essentially a non-for-profit journalism organization that started up in the US. And uh, one of my good friends, Jason Reed, decided, hey, it should be expanded to the UK because he's such a genius at pitching. And uh, we you It's a little talk sick, actually. What's wrong with profit? Uh, hang on, there's a li little sick, too much... Uh, too much crawling to the bus please connor it's not good doesn't make you look good what do you mean well you know telling everybody how wonderful he is and what a great guy is it's not a good idea well he got me the book in so i'll kiss his backside no um, no 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 for good no ash you've got to learn the right backsides to kiss well obviously he likes that yeah, backside but you know you kiss. know you want to make some profit if you're going to kiss some backside how many backsides have you kissed as many as i've needed to as all as right okay <laughs> You'd um, have fit right in the Tory party conference, I can tell you that. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, he was there. He kissed <laughs> yeah. a lot there. Got a kiss. Um, anyway, so, listen, are you in favour of a... Uh, not a Tory backside, Ash. Don't whisper those things in my ear. <laughs> are you, um, are you in favour of the vaccine passports or not? Absolutely not. Um, I, I think it's completely illiberal and, and immoral to gatekeep oh, you're liberal, civil liberties. Are you? No, no, classically, mm. so basically the government shouldn't be telling us what to do, when to do it, mm. um, but socially conservative in that I'm going to advise you to live. Yeah. So uh, hang, Don't hang, be a complete degenerate. Uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of a delay, I apologise about that. That's um, all right, no worries. Um, okay, so what, what should we be allowed to do? Anything? What do you mean as in... Well, you said we should be what? allowed to do anything, and I just wondered how far you wanted to push it. Well, not anything. Basically, the government should be reduced to providing essential services like police, fire, etc., and then policing and rights violations. So, obviously, locking up absolute nutcases like Wayne Cousins. But um, should we be banned on? You know, should they be telling us that we can't have certain brands of cigarettes? Should they be putting taxes yeah. on our if booze, etc.? I tell no. you what, if I'd been in government, there would be no. Well, no, actually, if I'd been in government, there would have been smoking dens like the old. Um, <laughs> Uh, and if you to go, yeah, smokers if, would like that. Yeah, if you wanted to smoke, you could go to one of these places. Uh, I personally wouldn't go there. And it's the same with a vaccine passport. You know, there will be a lot of countries who want to see that you've been vaccinated, a lot of places. And you don't have to have one. It's your choice. If you went to a country that said you've got to have a yellow fever jab, you would have it. I don't mm. see your problem, really. Well, if it's internal, then you're not allowing individual people to access goods and services based on their medical status, whether that's involuntary and they don't, can't get the vaccine, like I did a little while ago, I was talking to Ian Collins about it, or don't want to slash don't need to because they aren't particularly at risk or they've already had COVID and natural immunity provides a better immunization to the different uh, variants yeah. of COVID. No, no, so both I, is I best, both well, is well, best yeah. isn't it? Hang on, no name dropping anymore. Okay, Connor, it doesn't look good. <laughs> that's fair, that's yeah, fair. Yeah. Um, okay, listen, what are your thoughts, by the way, I'm, I'm just thinking about this, what are your thoughts on the people blocking the M25 occasionally and everywhere else? Ah, um, so I've, I've written a bit about this and that before because I've actually met and debated with Extinction Rebellion's founders. And the guy who created Insulate Britain founded Extinction Rebellion was booted out because he decided to say, oh, the Holocaust didn't really matter that much. But this guy, um, he is a open and out and socialist and he uh, all of his protest movements have been massive vanity projects. He started Stop Killing Londoners in 2017. He went to King's College and studied a PhD on radical protest movements. And in his thesis, he compared himself to MLK and Gandhi. So he's a big egotist. So all these people, these they're, all the they're all yeah, egotists. They're all egotists. Well, they're blocking, well, they're blocking, uh, blocking the roads, putting what would lives you do? and livelihoods at what risk. What would you suggest to the police? I'd suggest that if they want to glue themselves to something, they either get it off fairly quickly or amputation is on the cards. What do you think? <laughs> 
Uh, I would not endorse anyone putting their foot on the accelerator at all because we are not allowed to do that on this show, of course. Um, but the, the no, we're should, not allowed uh, to do anything. But hang on just one moment. If mm. the police don't actually start policing this nation, as I say most nights, instead of pussyfooting around and becoming mm. some kind of stupid little social workers because we have in the capital city... Uh, a chief of police, a commissioner who doesn't even know which way is forward. If this isn't sorted out fairly soon, mark my words, people will start policing themselves. We saw it the other day when guys got out of their cars and their vans yeah. and they threw the people to the side of the road. If you want yeah. to demonstrate, fine, demonstrate. But once you want to stop me doing what I want to do, then we are in conflict. They police by consent. We might remove the consent if it yeah. carries on like this. Well, they drag people up, everyone that dragged them out of the road, they, those guys deserve medals because they're just trying to get to work. But yeah. the thing is, if the police neglect to apply the law equally and fairly, and that's exposed all across social media and whatnot in our, in our day and age, you're going to get a lot of people that turn to vigilantism, as, as you've already said. If people they feel that they're going... Yeah, they if will, people feel if the that they're not, yeah. they're not... Yeah, they're well, some say that is, some say it's the big, bigger society, isn't it? It's helping out, like David Cameron is the, helping out, isn't it? Can we not are mention you Cameron's name on this program, please? Are you, are you vaccinated, Connie? You are, yeah. Did no, you, didn't no I'm actually, no, I'm well, not. You should because, be. Uh, what? You not? Well, the, so the first <laughs> time around, funnily enough, uh, there was the medical complication bit. They, they barred our young lot from getting AstraZeneca, and then yeah, they yeah. were only offering yeah, Pfizer from a GP surgery. Lot, I, we're all the young lot, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, of, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. Ash. What, you're not a day over 25. Um, right. So then when, when Pfizer was Trevely, being offered, I couldn't actually have Pfizer that away. because you couldn't I have, have the Pfizer. anaphylaxis. No, so oh, you've got anaphylaxis. Pfizer's, right, yeah. yeah, massive. Um, and funnily enough, now they're, now they're recommending it. But if you look at the literature, they don't say, oh, the, the risk isn't there. They just say, oh, we'll have an EpiPen on standby and just sort of hope for the best. So I'm actually more likely to keel over and die from the You wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want to risk that. Well, that's ridiculous, isn't it? No, I mean... which is pretty daft. Um, and then since then, Who obviously, said, all hang the, on, all hang, the on money, hang on. Who, who said, said that to you? you? Who said what? As in the. To take it, we'll have an EpiPen standing by if you. Yeah. Oh, that was in the that was in the leaflets that were handed out by the NHS. What about your doctor? What did he say door. about that? Well, I didn't consult the doctor directly because mm. after after that was handed through, um, no, yeah. they didn't actually repeal the uh, advice from the original yeah. council who said um, mm. there's actually a risk for anaphylaxis. So I just thought, oh, well, I'd rather not it's risk you know killing over and dying. Well, from exactly, there. yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but then the my my principal objection now is I'd also like to mainly talk to that the we're person paying tons of money. That to you because that is just not on. That is really ridiculous. I'd like to have a word with that person. Please You're welcome to on my behalf. I don't think they'd like to have a word with you, especially after your last interview where you uh, you chewed out all the Ramonas, James. I think they're probably running scared. Um, well, obviously you don't listen to me very much, but over the past, how, long, how old are <laughs> James you? James is a Ramona. Yeah, oh, shut up. How old are you? Uh, I am 22, 23 next week. Oh, okay. Well, then I was doing this, wasn't I, 20 years or so before he was born? Yeah, well, I'm actually, I'm actually familiar with Ferramenti at work because my, uh, my grandparents tune into your show every night. Oh, so great. Chuffed, no, His grandparents yeah. were teenagers. Whoa, they yeah. used to listen to you. <laughs> Look, as a grandfather, I'm giving you this bit of... The, the fact is that we are... Now, are you, sorry, are you a Remainer? No, no, absolutely okay, not. Fine, I actually fine. couldn't vote because I was too young, so but, I wanted to make you James guys feel is really a up. Remainer, just to make that clear. Look, He's changed look, his look, ways, look, but he always look, remains a Remainer because he look, voted look, Remain. Sure. Connor. Can, can mm. I just, sorry, can I just make it clear? I mm. voted to remain. I was yeah, exactly. so wrong. Yeah. I have apologised. No, yeah, that's what you said, but you are a remainer. When I realised what you, a mistake I'd made. And I have... we'll, we'll, we'll take the scarlet letter off eventually, but can we call you a traitor at least once yeah. and then we'll, we'll get over well, it? You've got a record, so. that's all. <laughs> the pair of you can... A record. Look, the... <laughs> I'm not going to go back into this, but I'm glad to hear that you, uh, unlike me, are Good much man. more sensible. And uh, I just regret having made that vote. The majority of people, I think a lot of the Ramonas actually regret it too. Yeah. Because the way that the, France in particular, and a few other countries, but France have really got it in for us at the moment. Oh, no. And I'm not talking about the French people and the of Dutch, the French country. The I'm talking about the politicians who suck up to the European dictatorship. They have to be put back in their box sorry i won't mention it again um okay so uh what do you think if i id cards come in i'm a big fan of that uh for the voting system i can understand voter id yeah. for for id my concern is what what would they be useful why what is the purpose well, of 
getting I, an ID card based on have, well, what access to civil liberties, yeah, etc. I, 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 I don't everything. like the internet ID card. For well, everything. well, the in, the internet ID card is is pretty concerning because um, they're actually looking into that with the online harms bill at the moment, mm. um, and it's to censor not not illegal speech but legal but harmful speech, and that's meant to be for causes of psychological harm, and so. To, to police that, they're going to issue oh, online ID cards damn, damn, based damn. on your social it media. It will never work, hang on, hang on, you two. Hang on, hang on. I work. forgot at the beginning of the show, it's your fault. Oh. I forgot <laughs> to say if you are easily offended, if you're politically correct, woke, or any of the other oh, shit. No, they've all been listening. Then you you know, can't listen they're to They're all this offended program. now. It's too late. We haven't issued the warning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. I, I'm so sorry. Oh. But, you know, if you are listening and you're one of those people who's easily offended, They'll be in tears by now. Do listen one. to an hour. I don't want you listening. Yeah, get out. Sorry, okay. Get out of there. Yeah, yeah, Put your radio. Out. Go and listen to, well, there's loads the of arches. rather boring, yeah. you know, banal radio. Go and listen to that. Um, sorry, Connor. I think a good idea, and I said this loads of times, a good idea is you have a little chip in your wrist. <laughs> and on that, I can have my bank details. Like China. My passport like what they're doing details. In China. And mm. I can have my medical details. You can run over the population with tanks if they all, get angry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, if they get in the way, yeah, if they get in the way China. and stop me going down there. You're basically saying, let's go China <laughs> and North Korea. Well, we need to do something to improve the discipline. Well, there's a halfway house, everyone... isn't there? Let's be a halfway between. Are you becoming them. soft? No, let's go halfway. Are you becoming and... soft? I think maybe you are. No, no, I mean... So I can have in my wrist my phone, I'm so I'm not black. having to lag this or lug this around all the time. Yeah, that's true. I, th I think having a phone anywhere near closer to people is probably the worst thing in the world because we're currently having a Black Mirror episode playing out based on people's addiction to social media. And I think anything that makes people that. even That's more freedom. narcissists. That's freedom. And no, freedom uh, of well, yeah, of course it's freedom. Yeah. No, I, you're I not free. You're chained, to do it. you're chained to your phone. I would advise people to do it against it. Um, it's my freedom to do it. You think, it makes you think you're free, but you're, you're chained, chained to, to other things I won't mention. Yeah. But I, I, uh, my <laughs> phone, my phone is my freedom. I can use it. I can film you. It's a drug for you. It's a drug. It's not a drug. You get a dopamine hit, don't you, when you get out. Connor, listen, we've got to go for the news. Thank you very much indeed. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk again.